Hi everyone, this video will be about Piazza. Hopefully, I'll be able to share with you what you can do with Piazza in terms of communicating with me and helping or asking help from your classmates. I will be giving an example through this subject, EDS 159, but of course, you'll be able to use the same concept in the other courses that you're enrolled in as long as the teacher is also using Piazza. In my course, I have created a link for students to sign up in my Piazza class. So just like my portal, Piazza has courses. So for my EDS 159 course, I have an equivalent in Piazza. So once you click this link, it will bring you to the Piazza equivalent of EDS 159. And of course, you'll be joining as a student. Click Join Class. And then you'll have to enter your UPOU or UP email. If you don't have a UPOU or UP email yet, you might want to try emailing EUP at up.edu.ph to request for a UP email address. I'll be using this email address for now. And I'll have to submit. Now it'll ask for a validation code here. In order for you to know the validation code, you have to go to your email address And as you can see in the inbox, it's the first one that appeared. So you click it. And uh, you may either just uh, click this link to activate the account or copy this to the other window so that you can submit the code. Now you are validated. You can write your name I'll be having a temporary one okay and then uh, my program just an example and my anticipated completion or maybe if you're not pursuing a degree which is close to improbable, you can click this, and I've read, tick this box, I've read and accept the terms of agreement, and click continue. Once you've done that, and if you've accessed Piazza for the first time, then you'll see these arrows. Here is the welcome message from Piazza, and uh, this is actually a, a tutorial. You can adjust the account settings here and uh, you can see all of the questions and posts by your classmates and by your instructors here. What is important here is looking at the categories or the folders above. So as you can see there's week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 10. You'll be able to see that later. Others, if you want to ask something from me or a question, that is not th that does not belong in any of the weeks or any of the activities you can click others okay and uh, well most of my activities my first ac my, my first activity usually is a self introduction post so most of the students actually post here in this folder and you can see your classmates who posted their self introduction And you can actually, if you like the post, then you can uh, click this, good note. And you can also reply to their post. If you want to post something, then, like this, you'll just type the title. My self-introduction forum or post usually gives you an instruction to uh, 
write down or type your full name example will be this as the summary and your description of course I don't have time to do this hopefully you'll be able to create a really great self introduction and then before clicking post you'll have to note that you can either post your message as a question or as a note if you don't need an answer then you post it as a note now you'll also be able to select which of the participants will be able to see your post if you only want the instructor to see your post then select instructor and if you only want and if you want the entire class to see it then entire class in this case a self intro should be seen by the whole class and then we have to categorize the post and since it is uh, an introduction post based on my instructions in this activity you select this one and you post it everyone will be able to see what you posted so if you click introduction again you will see your post Bobby Buchanan you'll see other posts here by Mary Bell and Rice Joy now if you want to post a question like uh, when will the first exam be given you can click new post and then uh, first exam this is a test post when will the first exam be given all right you can select instruction only, instructor only since uh, you just need the instructor to answer it or if you need help from your classmates you can post it to the entire class in my case I will post I will select instructor and then since it's a question then I'll select question and then since this is not an introduction anymore I will select another label or an, another folder which is week one I'm now at week one so I selected week one and deselected introduction now I will post it oh okay I have to select the instructor so in my case in this case you can select all of the instructors but in this course I, there's only one which is myself so I selected Roberto Figueroa jr. and post now your instructor will be able to see your post if you want to see all of the questions or notes that that are posted for week one then they'll be here so for week two discussions you can ask questions and you can also share some information you can select week two when you uh, create a new post and another well again I want to remind you that please try to also uh, comment on your classmates work it's really important for me and you might also you know give them a thumbs up for a good question or a good note okay you'll be able to discover more things you can actually post not just text but also um, other things like uh, images if this is a coding course then you can post codes if, if it's a mathematical course you can post a formula and uh, you can also post videos so those are the few things that you can do here I hope that you'll be able to enjoy discussing and exchanging ideas so I hope that you've learned something in this video just email me if you have more questions so see you in piazza